All right, guys. Now that the the, uh, the preseason the preseason is finally done, and we're like a like four or five days into the season, now I can actually start putting educational content out there. The reason I didn't make any in the past few weeks before the preseason was up, it was because I didn't know if Riot would make a big change once the patch came in or anything like that. So I was just waiting around and see what happened. They actually they didn't change that much, so I should have probably made a video back then. <laughs> But, uh, in t well, in terms of keystones, at least, which is what this video is about, about which uh, keystones are the best to take, which are situation, uh, which ones are being taken right now, which I, th I don't think are optimal, etc. Um, right now, out of all the keystones, the strongest one, by far, is in the Inspiration Tree, Spellbook. Spellbook is the strongest keystone to take right now. It's actually, I'm very sure, keep this in mind, I'm very sure it's going to keep, it's going to get nerfed in the next couple of patches. But I don't think it's going to be nerfed specifically because of uh, solo queue. I think that keystone we're using competitive play correctly is extremely powerful, right? So that's probably going to be nerfed mostly for more for competitive than solo queue. But in the end, it's going to be nerfed more than it is right now. Probably extend the, the shards a little bit more, probably like eight, nine, ten minutes instead of six minutes. Who knows? I don't really know. But um, the thing that makes it the strongest for Ribbon right now in solo queue is the summoner the summoner uh, cooldown reduction and the ability to swap keys to, or, or like swap uh, your summoner spells in game depending on what's happening. If you need damage, you need ignite. If you need to be able to beat at level six Irelia because she does too much damage, boom, pop exhaust. Oh, you need to go back bottom, swap to TP. Um, later in mid team fights, if you haven't used your shards and you've been careful with it, you can actually even have a double flash. You flash in a team fight. Oh, guys, let's group this group again. Bam, another flash fucks up the enemy team. Riven right now has the strongest carry potential than she's had. Than she's had. A lot of people are used to the, or, or uh, I should say, they, they want to go back to the Black Cleaver Fervor style. The Black Cleaver Fervor style was most split push. Split push, split push, split push. Right now, with this, Riven actually has a lot of kill potential if you go for a full lethality assassin build against squishies and everything. So you can just flash in, one shot someone, flash in, someone, one shot someone, and just keep going, split push. You, you have a lot of resources you have a lot of different situations of what you can do so now that i already explained to you guys that that's the best keystone right now in my opinion and a lot of players are taking it constantly is uh, i'll go over the other keystones after i explain the optimal setup right now but i'm not really going to go that that deep into the other keystones because i i don't really use them i'm just going to tell you where people where people use them and why i think you shouldn't essentially you can still use them if you feel like you like like it's working for you or that if um, you know you just want to try it out, you can still use them, but it's not I IML, not really my uh, what you should be going for. So let's go to keystones real quick. Let's see if I can find this thing. Here we go. So spell book. We're gonna go step by step. This tree is insane. Twenty five percent cooldown reduction right here, and the ability to swap your summon cells back and forth. That's insane. I've used it, if you guys have seen my stream, you know how I use it every game and I swap my keystones around like crazy and I figure out what's the best situation for each game. I even sometimes go ghost if I want to roam. Like if I'm pushing bottom and I want to roam middle a lot, I'll go ghost. It's really, really good. Now, let's go deeper into this. So perfect timing is the, the if you guys have seen competitive or anything like that, it's so you know that everyone's taking, everyone and their mom is taking this keystone. Everyone is. Because it's it allows you to tower dive, it allows you it allows you to escape dangerous situations. It basically erases your mistakes. Okay? It erases your mistakes and gives you way more outplay potential. So this compared to the these two is the strongest one. Now I had, I would I would say that you could still take Hex Flash in situations where you're going against an a ranged top laner, say so you're going against Annie, Lissandra, Vlad. I've used I I used it against Darshan the other day on stream and I made him go like 0 4 just because of Hex Flash repositioning. You can learn how to use it if you watch my stream my, my stream through there. But it's uh, but it's very it, it's mostly used for this, just basically repositioning yourself. Say you go into a let's say the Vlad is a little bit near you and you queue into a wave. You can actually queue and press hex flash at the same time, and you already start charging it up while you're pressing your queue. So you don't you won't really have to wait that much to use the hex flash. And you can jump onto them and basically cover a lot of ground that you wouldn't be able to cover if you didn't if you didn't have it. So I I, I use it only against mage matchups, and this is what I use for everything else. Okay. Now we go into the next tree, magical footwear. 
don't even think about these two. These two are not really that good on Riven. Or for the matter of fact, for most top laners, the only the only futures market is half decent. The problem is that you should only be using it once or twice per game because it does take up a lot of your gold. So you should only be using it once you have a big power spike. Let's say you're playing Camille and you want to get to that Triforce and you need like and you have a 1,200 gold. Bam. That's what you that's what you would use this for, or like 1,250 gold, whatever. This is what you would use it for. But for right now, free boots, you know, free gold. It reduces the uh, the like the gold that you need to buy for the next boots, which is usually what I buy as CDR boots. So I can even stack the 25% CDR from this, 10% CDR from uh, CDR boots, plus cosmic insights. Again, even more cooldown reduction. Here you can you can go for this stuff if you want, but it's not really celestial body. Just denies your ability to kill in lane. And approach velocity, you already have enough dashes to catch people. You don't necessarily need a little bit more movement speed after you're stunned. You know? It doesn't even last that long. So, uh, Cosmic Insight is the one to go here. It gives you even more cooldown reduction. Now, in the second tree, you can go for Domination or Sorcery. You can't go for Precision or Resolve because you end up losing the damage. You see, if you go for Sorcery or Domination, you still get 13 attack damage. But if you go for Precision, you get 20% attack speed. And for Resolve, you only get 145 HP. So you have to choose between either one of these two. Now, per I'm personally more of a fan of getting the 10% CDR at level 10 and the extra damage from Scorch, or you can still end up going for Gathering Storm if you're going against a tank matchup that you don't know you're going to kill. Or you're gonna, you don't even have to go into this tree. You can still go up here, uh, Ultimate Hat, for uh, you know extra cooldown reduction on your Ultimate. Or even if you're going against a Cannon, you can go for Nullifying Orb, just basically AP match at top. You have a lot of options here, depending on what you want to do. Now for Domination, I'm not a fan. I'm honestly not a fan, and the reason is because I've I've noticed this is more of a scaling rune in terms of if you want if you want actual damage output early, you actually end up doing more damage with um, scorch that you wouldn't be you would end up doing with this early at least. So for example, for each Q that Riven does, you actually only get like two extra damage per Q because of the of the sudden impact. You can actually test this in game if you guys want once you go into a game. Just just Q them once. Auto attack them or whatever, and check down on the on the keystone. See how much extra damage you've done. It's actually very minimal. It's not really that much. It does end up scaling though, because ten lethality actually works out really nice later in the game. The uh, ravenous hunter. Uh, here you can just go for whatever. Honestly, I don't. I'm, again, I'm not really a fan of this side. I would always go sorcery. So that's the most optimal keystone to go for ribbon right now. Okay, basically go for this. This is what I do almost every single game. That. It's. Insane. It gives you a lot of mobility. It gives you a lot of uh, utility, I should say. The utility that this keystone brings you is insane. Again, it's probably going to be nerfed in the future. Now, for honorable mentions, the the ones that everyone else is taking, that uh, you know, randomly here and there, is uh, so they go. Some of them go for the inspiration tree, and they go for a klepto if you're going against a tank with the same setup that I was talking earlier. Um, the thing about Klepto is, uh, yes, it allows you to get your power spike faster, faster, but you still lack all that utility. That um, because even if you go Klepto, technically you shouldn't be able to kill the tank. Uh, for example, if you're playing against an Orn, right? It's not like last season where if you got Black Cleaver, you'd be able to just kill the tank no problem because we used to have Fervor. The combination of Fervor and Black Cleaver was a combination that would just allow you to shred tanks and kill them. Not not anymore these days. We don't have any extra ID to make the armor pen work. So the scaling to have one of those type of builds, you can still go for that playstyle if it works for you. I personally don't think it's that that good. You can still end up doing it against tanks or any melee matchups if you feel like you just want the extra gold and everything that this gives you. I'd rather have the utility from from Spellbook. Again, it's fucking busted out of its mind. Uh, Glacial Augment, no one uses it. Ignore that. <laughs> Here, this is what this is the tree that Dekar uses. Okay, I asked Dekar what he thought about this, and I've tested it out myself a lot too. He he loves going grasp into almost every single matchup after. Like he says that spellbook is super overpowered right now, but after that, grasp of the undying is like the best thing because you you can just end up fighting people constantly. You have enough sustain. You can still go for aftershock. This is the this is the keystone that I tested with uh, LS a while back to see how it would do, and it's really good. It gives you a lot of tankiness. It makes you th this tree is basically for people that want to go into a bruiser style ribbon, and it's just you know it's not really my play style that I like doing, but it, it works out. It works out a lot if you're going against tanks, but I think it gives you a little bit less of a percentage of ability to carry because you don't have the same utility, again, that you would have with the older OP keystone that I talked about earlier. 
Sorcery Eerie is for you is used for constant combat. I would even compare it to fervor, but it's not really anything like it, but it's just more for like if you're constantly fighting it gives you a lot of damage output. And um the the problem with this is that you lack everything else I would talk about. I'm I'm gonna stop going back to the, the I just see the spellbook one being just so powerful that it's just like these ones don't even I don't even think about them. Um Eerie is more for just damage output if you just want to go for constant damage on your opponent. Common is going for, you know, a little bit less trading, but still more powerful trading. It's, I, I wouldn't recommend this for new Ruben players. I would only recommend going Eerie if you're going, if you're a new Ruben player. In this Keystone, don't even think about it. Face Rush is actual ass. Don't even worry about this Keystone. This thing doesn't exist until Riot buffs it, at least to like, I don't know, like the old Storm Raiders. Don't even think about Face Rush. It's the most garbage Keystone I have ever seen. Uh, Domination Tree. The only one that works is Electrocute. Electrocute. And this Keystone, you should never ever take it against tanks. This Keystone is only taken against matchups like Tenon, Jace, things that you can't constantly trade with. And you only get a short time window one time to trade in, especially because the cooldown is 50 seconds early, right? So say you're going, say, say you're playing against Jace and there's a gank coming, etc. You're waiting all that time to get this to proc. Once the, final, once the gank finally comes in, you go in, bam, pop the electrocute. That's when it's good. But other than that, if you're going against a tank, this thing's actually useless. This is the, this is a keystone that actually scales with the late game, because it allows you to get powerful picks later in, because you can well, you can just burst them up a lot easier. But you can burst them you can burst them you can one shot them without having electric here anyway. So I never take this anyway. <laughs> and for precision, I mean we don't we don't really use this this stuff because it gives you it gives us attack speed early. Maybe this would be half decent, but the problem is that it gives us 20% attack speed if we go into it, so it's, uh, you know, it's not really the best thing you can go for. You see, everything gives you attack speed if you go into this tree. It's not really, <laughs> it's not really something that we will like. Anyway, so that's the, it's a, that's the uh, runes rundown for now. This is what you should be going for, this tree, right here. Do it. Gain some elo, friends. This is the best thing you can go for right now. It's beautiful. Get it before it gets nerfed. I'm serious. Get it.